us hear from the Word of God. The Old Testament reading is from portions of Psalm 46 and Psalm 48. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth should change, though the mountains shake into the heart of the seas, for God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. And the reading from the epistles comes from the Apostle Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son for us, but gave him up for us all, will he not also surely give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? Will God? No. He is the one who has forgiven us and given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? Will Christ? No. For he is the one who died for us and came back to life again for us, and is sitting at the place of highest honor next to God, pleading for us there in heaven. Who then can ever keep Christ's love from us? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword no, for the scriptures tell us that for his sake we must be ready to face death at every moment of the day. But spite all this, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us enough to die for us. For I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from his love. Death can't, and life can't, the angels won't, and all the powers of hell itself cannot keep God's love away. Our fears for today 